is the man. Tweedy Carter joins us, one of the great names in Baylor basketball history who helped kickstart the greatness of Scott Drew's program. And yesterday, yes, hey, yesterday you went head to head and so did King and he was talking about it. And I think you guys kind of had to remind everybody how this all began, right? <laughs> nah, we were just having fun, man. We were just trying to make sure we get them better to win this game tomorrow. <laughs> Tweedy, what is it like to to be able to step into that that role? You know, you're back practicing in the practice gym. I know you 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 know get out there and shoot quite often, but you know, in the season, working with some guys, you just came off of your season and practicing yeah. to kind of to kind of show them what it's like. Uh, yes, yeah, most definitely, it's always fun to come back, you know, uh, and and get out there and play with those guys because, like you said, they 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 young, they fast, they strong, they hungry. And they, they want to be better every day, and they put a lot of time in the gym, and, you know, and goes back to everything. That's why Baylor, this Baylor team is being successful, you know, because the the determination that they that these players have for one another, too, and themselves. What were your impressions? Oh, we heard you and James Akinjo were, were going at each other. What were your impressions of uh, Baylor's young star guard? Oh, I love James, man. James is one tough guy, man, and, and my job, for Coach Drew and, and the program was to come and try to get the best of him every single day. And that was that was the goal is to try to push him to, to, to be better. And along with everybody else, you know, try to push each player to be better because it helps them it helps them and it helps the program, it helps the team be better. You know, and that's the goal. It's a and I, I love BU, so it's always about getting them better for me. You know, um, I'm thirty five now, man. I'm I enjoy my, my ride. I enjoy playing, you know, um a lot and you know, I'm just blessed to be in this position to come back and, and give knowledge and, and um, you know, try to help these, these guys be better. And they and they, and they want to be better, you know. So it's easy. it makes it a little bit easier. James Akinjo and you, um, what, was that like almost, and, and I don't use this in a negative way, but was that kind of like a turf war during practice? Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. He, that's, that's James' team. That's James and, and, and all the other leaders' team, you know. I'm, I, I respect that from those guys, man. And, it's, and, and, and again, it's never about Tweety Carter when it comes to BU. It's mm -hmm. always about the team and the program. And that's what it's been about since I stepped foot on Bell, and that's what it's going to continue to be about. Um, like I said, the goal is to get James better and, and Adam and all those other guys as well, Matt, all those guys, you know. And the, and the only way to get them better is to push them, make them uncomfortable or try to, you know, because those <laughs> guys are hard to keep up with. You know, I'm coming in there, you know, trying to work out, and it's, it's tough to keep up with them, especially at 35. So they teach me a lot. You know, I'm learning from them as well, as well too. So it's, it's always fun, man. And, again, it's, it's, it never was about, you know, me coming to show James anything because, um, you know, I had my time. I enjoyed it. I'm blessed. And these boys, you know, put in a lot of work to make their own name and set their own path, and that's what they're doing. And, you know, I'm just, again, I'm just thankful to be a part of this program uh, and, and able to go in there and practice for Coach Drew and the team. How long into practice yesterday before you felt 35? Uh, Probably, like, right in the two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right in the two minutes. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm chasing James off the screens. I'm I'm getting hit every time by Flo and whoever <laughs> else screening. I'm like, man, well, the, the, the best thing to do is just try to talk to him because you know me chasing him ain't helping <laughs> <laughs> Tweety uh, this has obviously been a, a very good year once again for Baylor I mean here they are in the top three they've yeah. had an incredible week I mean last week especially with the uh, game day and the big win over Kansas big Monday big win over Texas but they've also dealt with a lot of adversity with the injury uh, you know situations but just what have been your impressions as you've watched this journey of theirs and where they are now as this starts to get ramped up in a major way Oh man, I, I love what they're doing. I love how they responded to adversity. I love how they they picking each other up through the struggles. And again, you know, we've been talking about James. You know, in some games, he may not have the best percentage or, or you know, or shooting the ball the best. But I tell you what, he always willing to make the big play along with Adam. You know, Matt, all those guys make the plays when they need to, and that's and even Flo. Like I can go down the list. Uh, Brown, I can go down the list about all those things that these players do each one by one, and they all um, help each other out in a major way. And I think that's what's been the the, the big thing for BU is, is overcoming losing the guys that we that we have. You know, other guys have to step in, 
step up, and I think they've been doing that wonderful. And, you know, credit to the coaching staff and them for doing that. The point guard position is where everyone sees uh, uh, sees that most because that person usually has the ball, even when there's great, you know, uh, rotation or ball movement or whatever. Can you try to describe that and and the responsibility of being the one who is uh, whether it was you or heck, there's been a lot of guys along the way, Kenny Cherry or Pierre Jackson yeah. or whoever that that you are the distributor. I mean, you you just can't be a scared. You just can't be afraid to fail at whatever you choose to do at the point guard spot. Um, I learned a lot from Curtis Jones. You know, um, I, I, one thing I did learn from him was tough minded. You know, he wasn't afraid to take the, to take over the big moments. He wasn't afraid to to mess up in those big moments. And I think that's what all those guys you name they have. And and along with James, like they have it, Adam, they have it, Matt, they have it. You know, we haven't shot the best percentage in the world, but I tell you what, when it's time to make shots, these boys are coming through. When it's time to get a defensive stop, they're coming through. So, you know, as a leader, you just can't be afraid to fail. What do you think of the way that they've, like, individually adapted? Like, Matt has, you know, gone from a guy who, you know, was a shoot for, like, catch the ball and shoot it, you know, a half a second after his fingertips touched it, guy, to someone who seems to enjoy now being a threat, rebounding and playing defense. Yes, I mean, and he, he just want to win. Uh, he's one of those guys that's willing to sacrifice for, for the team. You know, he went through his moments as a, as a young player. He learned, you know, and I think that um, what he's doing now is major for us. Um, you know, to, to come out and grab rebounds when, I, when one of our top rebounders go down. You know, somebody has to step up. And it goes back to what I just said, you know, got to be willing to step up. And that's how you become a championship team and continue to be a championship team. Um, and I think that's what we have. We just have a bunch of guys that's willing to sacrifice for each other and is willing to step up if if the if the team may go out. Tweedy, what's it like to? I mean, you've been back, you know, many many years uh, as Scott Drew and, and this coaching staff has been around. Uh, but to walk in and to see, you know, all the accomplishments that are now growing and to see the, the steady nature of the program, and it's it's one of the elite programs right now. I mean, you were watching these guys at the very beginning. Is it just kind of crazy? I mean, is there ever a moment where you're just, you kind of sit back and, and just think of, of where all this came from and, and how it all started, and, and what's it like to see where it is right now? I mean, and this might sound crazy, but every time I step in foot in that gym, every single time, you know, and that's why I'm so passionate about helping the next person and be you, helping whatever I need to do, I'm, I'm here. Because that's the feeling I get every single time I walk in that gym. So I'm, I'm real passionate about this, man. And I, and I love I love what BU did for me as a man. I love, you know, what it's doing for other guys. Um, and, and, you know, the staff, like I said, man, the staff is, is, is amazing. You know, even the past guys that, that left here that, um, moved on to other places. I mean, just everything about Baylor, you know, start just starting to improve and, and get better, you know, year by year, day by day, you know, and I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of it. How often do you wear something with Baylor on it? Every day. Majority of every day. <laughs> yeah, I'm up. <laughs> so... Uh, Every day, um, I mean, I'm, 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 even when I go overseas, I have a, I just bring nothing but Baylor gear. Well, he's he's international advertising, yeah, no, ambassador, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ambassador. ambassador. I think they need to give you an ambassadorship or whatever. The mayor, the ambassador. I think so too. I think so too. I think we need to talk about that because <laughs> I think that needs to happen too. Oh, well, we're gonna okay. We're Look, gonna we're gonna start the push. There's 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 yeah, probably so. about what eight countries you haven't been to, right, Tweety? Yeah. So you yeah. can go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've been everywhere with Baylor. <laughs> oh my lord! How's your body feel after your season ends? And, and I, I, I mean, I told you, and you asked me the question of how did I feel running behind? I'm I feel 35 now, <laughs> and I'm, I'm pushing. Every time I get out there, and run behind them, I get, I feel older. So I'm gonna have to tell Coach Drew, you know what? Ah, uh, today I'm a pilot. I will come tomorrow. I'm gonna have to go every two days, every other day. Because running behind all those boys, man, and, and fighting with them, and uh-uh, I'm good. <laughs> hey, you, you know, it's great that you come back. And there's a lot of players that come back. And other players go back to, to, to programs and where they were. You see whether it's football or basketball. But is it special? Is it even more special because of uh, because how you were treated, what you did, and what it meant to you when you were here, like you mentioned, for other guys as well? 
Oh, uh, I mean, this. I mean, this is yeah, this is special for me. I mean, like I said, since day one, I always felt this way. Like, man, it's this is whatever we go through, we just got to weather the storm, and it's gonna be special. And like you said, look where we at. I mean, I, I say this a lot of times, you know, and look where we at. This is a special program to be a part of. I'm just blessed that I get to share, you know, um, everything I've been through and, you know, get to help others, others grow. What do you find is the piece of advice that you give most often to some of these younger guys? Um, trust yourself. Believe in yourself, you know, and, and through the ups and downs, you know, no matter what, keep your head up. You know, no matter no matter what, keep your head up. Not everybody gonna gonna be successful and in, in, in make it to the NBA. Not everybody gonna play overseas. Not everybody gonna play after they um, finish college. You know, just be thankful and you know appreciate the, the good times and, and and the hard times. You just you fight through it. Don't put your head down because you know you got another day to to, to keep moving forward. I know you. So got- if I can say anything, to keep your head up. I know you've got to practice tonight. You have but with yes, the yes. AAU team now. Yes, yes. What, yes, did, what yes, did you see? Good. What did you see the last day or two uh, uh, with Baylor? You mentioned the younger, bigger, better, faster, stronger. But do you see a focus that it's all about what they do Saturday evening? It's that one center focus, and that's it. Oh, they locked in, and that was the plan to just get them locked in to go ready to win this game tomorrow. I think they're gonna come in ready, and they're gonna protect. They're gonna protect the Ferris Center and I. Uh, and that's what I'm I'm excited about. It. I'm gonna be in the game and, and and you know cheering them on and 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 hoping that they can come out and get this win. How much would you love to play in the new pavilion? Have you seen images of it? Uh, somewhat. Not 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 a lot of it. So I, I can't tell you how I think it looks. But I would. I mean, anything Baylor, I would yep. love to play. And I'm sure gonna get some shots in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Final thing, you were a major part of the, the documentary that Sikkim 365 did. In fact, I think you were the star of the show. I, I think yes, uh, I think uh, it was awesome, your emotions or whatever. You finally got a chance to see that, right? Yes. And? I mean, it just took my breath away. You know, like, it's just everything that happened before, you know, only the, the – the, um, the Patrick Dennehy thing, you know, happened before everything that happened before the players dying, the uh, player get sick. I didn't know all of that took place, you know. So me seeing it and, and seeing more of it, you know, just right in front of me was like, wow, this really is a special program. We They overcame and we overcame a lot, you know, and to be where we at now, it shows you, you know, everybody could have gave up and, you know, just wrote BU off and, you know, went their own ways like a lot of players did you know they could have shut it down and to, to to be at this point now it's just like i said it's a blessing it's a blessing i mean every day i think about how, how blessed i am to be a part of this program and to, to to be where i'm at you know with me and my family and everything so it's just a, it's just i mean it's like i said it's a big blessing man and i'm, I'm just honored and blessed to be a part of it how much did you enjoy karen craig in that documentary with her truthfulness and her just like innocence of what she was saying? Yeah. Every, I mean, everybody, everybody that, 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 um, um, was in the documentary did a, I mean, a great job and, you know, spoke the truth. And, you know, when, when you speak the truth, it lands different, you know, and you feel it, you understand it and you appreciate more. And I think that's what a lot of people that don't understand what Bill have been through. They're going to appreciate, you know, where we at now way more, you know, than anything, you know, just to see the history behind everything and see how Coach Drew came in from day one, not afraid to to, to say we're going to win a national championship one day, you know, and and, and that, look where we at. You know, we got a chance to be the Big 12 champs again, you know, and that's, again, credit to everything that these players are doing, man, the hard work, the sacrifices, and that's what it's about. That's why it's going to continue to be a special program. Thank you, Tweedy. There's others on the chat rooms. Tweedy with big red hearts. Uh, Tweedy is the star of Ode to Joy. Uh, So glad I was able to attend the viewing at the Baylor Club to hear his comments. People at Baylor, no question, they love you. We appreciate you, uh, Tweedy. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you guys too, man. Sick and bad. You too. That's Tweedy Carter, and he was amazing. Craig, you still haven't seen it yet, have you? No. It's really, really awesome. I look forward to when that opportunity of course, comes as well. Um, 